Hello everybody, welcome back to another video at my channel. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this super cute floral set of bright nails. So if you want to see how this is done, stay tuned to the end of the video. But first I'm going to show you the six new gel colours from Magpie Beauty. This is the pop art collection and you have six colours. So let's see what those colours look like and compare them to some other gels from the Magpie collection. This is Lollipop. And we are comparing her to, on the left, Toodaloo, in the middle, Loopy Loo, and then on the right, Moaning Minnie. Next colour up we have Lime Ada, and for the comparison, on the left we've got Granny Smith, in the middle we've got Busy Bee, and then on the right is Hannah Banana. Next up is Aquamarine and we are comparing it to, on the left, Breakfast at Tiffany's, in the middle, Granny Smith and then on the right, Jeez Louise. Next we've got Eye Candy and we are comparing it to, on the left, Crikey Nora, in the middle, Cherry Blossom and on the right, Bobby Dazzler. The next colour is Jazzy Joe, and we are comparing it to, on the left, Heidi Boo, in the middle, Silly Billy, and on the right is Life of Riley. Last, but certainly not least, we have Shrinking Violet, and we are comparing it to, on the left is Pansy Potter, in the middle, Tasty Tina, and then on the right is Dizzy Lizzy. So there you have it, there are all six swatches from the Magpie Beauty Pop Art Collection. This collection is so beautiful, the colours are so vibrant and pigmented, they all went on full coverage within one coat, I'm absolutely in love. I will leave links in the description box down below as to where you can find and purchase this Magpie Beauty Collection. And let's go on to the design. So I've used Lime Ada from the Pop Art Collection and Jasmine Glitter, which is also from Magpie Beauty, for this stunning combination. So I'm going ahead and applying two coats of Lime Ada to every single nail, curing between each layer for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. As you can see here, even in one coat, this baby is full coverage and so easy and creamy to apply. With Magpie Gel Colour, I do recommend to apply in slightly thicker coats than you would do a normal gel polish as it is that slightly thicker formula and you only need two coats as it's so highly pigmented. If you find that you get any flooding, just go in with a little clean up brush like I am doing now and tidy it up, it's so super easy. A little top tip, spend a little bit of extra time on your first coat of gel polish, getting it really neat around that cuticle area and it will make that second coat of colour go on super quick and super easy and will save you a lot of time in the long run. So after applying that first coat, as I said, it will be going into the lamp for 60 seconds and I use an LED lamp. And then I'm going in with my second coat now. So I'll also put that in my lamp for 60 seconds. And when this comes out of the lamp, we will be going in with glitter. So the glitter I'm using is Magpie Glitter Jasmine. It's one of the newer releases of glitters. It is a stunning medium fine glitter. And I'm going to be using the Magpie Glitter Applicator Brush, which is perfect for doing glitter fades, which was what I'm doing now. So I just start by applying the glitter at the cuticle area, or if you're doing it from the tip up, then I would apply it there. So I just apply a load of glitter in the cuticle area, clean off my brush and then go back in and dab down the nail bringing some of those loose pieces down and I find that that gives you a really nice even fade. So I'm going to do that to all of the nails and then I'm going to go in with my Magpie Beauty duster brush and we're just going to dust away any of that excess glitter around that cuticle area ready for top coating. I also like to pull that duster brush down the nail, sweeping any of the loose glitters down. That also really helps to fade the glitter down nicely and evenly and it creates a really perfect glitter fade. And look how beautiful that glitter is, it really does reflect so beautifully in different lights. Going in with the design now and I'm going to be using the new Dixie Plates Mega Manny Mix 02. I'm in love with this plate, I've used it so much already, it's full of really easy to use designs. 
And of course I'm going to be going in and using my favourite Dixie Plates stamper, it's my ultimate favourite, and my Dixie Plates scraper which is well loved and used as you can see, prepping my stamper head with a lint roller and prepping my plate by cleaning it with some acetone. I'm also going to be using my Dixie Butterfly palette and I'm going to be using the Magpie Beauty Detailer and Illustrator nail art brushes for this little bit of nail art. So going in with Hit the Bottle Stamping Polish in As Black as Night and also Hit the Bottle Stamping Polish in Psycho Pink. I'm going to be decanting some of those colours onto the palette ready to use. So first we're going to take the image and we're not going to apply it onto the nail just yet because we're going to go in with that pink stamping polish and fill in where those little flower buds are. It is a beautiful flower bud kind of blossom design. I love this image. It's my favourite on the plate so I had to use it for this design and I think this hot pink really complements and contrasts with Lime Ada, the gel polish base. So I'm going in and just using that stamping polish to fill in where all of the flower buds are and then I'm just going to turn it over to show you how it's looking from underneath and that is how it will look on the nail. So you need to give it a good 30 seconds to dry so it's slightly tacky to touch and then press down and I like to hold for a good 10 seconds on the nail to make sure it's attached. If any of the pieces don't secure onto the nail I just go in with my detailer brush, a bit of that black stamping polish and then add branches in where needs be so you can adjust the image if you want to depending on the design you're doing so I've done it on my ring finger and my middle finger and also my thumb as some contrast nails and look how beautiful they look I'm really happy with how these turned out I top coated twice over every single nail with let it shine top coat also from magpie beauty thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and head on over to my Instagram, Isabel May Nails, for loads of nail goodie photos. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!